If you've written a spreadsheet that you want your colleagues to use and you don't want them to be reminded that they need to enable macros, you just want all that to happen automatically, then the method I'm gonna show you in this video could be exactly what you need. Say you want your spreadsheets to open with macros automatically enabled, but you don't really want every other spreadsheet in the entire world to do the same. How can you do that? Now, this method I'm going to show you is particularly good if you're in uh, on the same network as other people that are going to be opening your spreadsheet and you're all opening it from the same location. So at, by default, you'll probably find that you're being asked to enable macros. So for example, if I open this workbook here, there's a simple macro in it. It's giving me a security warning. I click to test that macro. It's not gonna let me do it. it says it's disabled. Um, that's just a pain. So what I'm gonna do now is show you a way that you can get this to run automatically without that security warning for anyone who's on the same network as you and who has access to the same um, locations. To be honest, it actually worked wider than that, but you'd have to tell people where to save the workbook. So let's, let's just show you what I mean, right? So you go into Excel options, and in there you see there is Trust Center, click on Trust Center settings, and near the top, Trusted Locations. Any spreadsheet that's opened from a trusted location will automatically enable content. It will not ask you. That is exceptionally useful. Now, you might find if you are in a corporate environment, you have some policy locations, maybe a network drive. And if you do, then that means you could save your file into that location and tell other people, send them links, for example, to open it from the same location. It won't ask to enable macros, it just run straight away. What if there's no policy location? Well, normally you have user locations and certainly you will probably almost certainly have um, the Excel start files and some of the Office start files, but you'll also have these uh, templates. So for example, user templates, that can be a useful location, but also application templates. So you could just tell people to save straight to this file folder. So what I'm gonna do is now copy this spreadsheet into that folder. And chances are you might not have permission to save it directly, but you should have permission to copy it into that folder just as a demonstration. So I've actually opened that folder already. So I'm just gonna take the spreadsheet from here, right, copy that. Paste it in there. Right, now if I go back to Excel and um, cancel out of all of this and close it, now I'm gonna open from that template location, this spreadsheet, and you can see no security warning, macros work straight away. And the same would be true if I set up my own trusted location. So I'm going to do that now, trust center, trust center, trusted location, add a new location. Obviously I don't want that. Uh, I'm just gonna browse to any old folder. So I'm just going to uh, put this one on, for example, at the moment, temp one. You can make subfolders trusted as well. Hit okay. Hit okay. And OK again, right, let's close this file. So now if I go back to the original spreadsheet that didn't work, it's asking me to enable content. I now just save it as um, into my new temp drive that I've made uh, there. So I'll save it in there. Right, now if I close this file, now when I reopen it from that new location, no security warning, completely able to run my macros. So trusted locations, 
you're in control of, uh, if you've got network areas or whatever, that's brilliant. Just put your file on the network, send people links to that file in that trusted location. Macros will run. Jobs are good, and as they say. Now, the one bonus sort of tip on this as well is that what you can also do is if you know a user, it's a bit of a, a bit of a sneaky sort of method this, but if you know a user is already opening a spreadsheet with macros in, um, and you don't want to bother them with putting things in trusted locations, what you can do is you could stick your spreadsheet on a network location and you could write some code to copy that spreadsheet into one of the user's trusted locations and then um, just put a link in the network, on the network location to the trusted location. <laughs> so that might sound a bit, a bit convoluted, but effectively, uh, for example, you could uh, effectively run some code that basically copies your spreadsheet into the templates folder of their C drive, as an example. And then every time they open a shortcut, it just shortcuts to their C drive and off you go, it'll run without macro. So a bit of a hack to be honest, but it does work. I've tried it before and you can play some great tricks on people as well using that kind of a method. Make sure you check out the other videos on Up for Excel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon as well to get notified of the next videos coming out, and I'll see you soon.